Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to be going over the circle features and the tangent arc feature. Okay, so the, they basically go uh, along hand in hand. If you learn, if you learn how to do one, you're going to know how to do the other one, really. Uh, but uh, it's very good to they go together. Usually, you're creating either one or the other if you're using these features. Okay, so go ahead and click on front plane and then click on sketch. You're going to get the front plane over here. You're in sketch mode, so you're ready to create your sketch. Come over here and click on this down arrow. You're going to notice two uh, options, the circle and parameter circle. Uh, circle is you start out with picking the center of the circle and then uh, select the second point as your radius. The parameter circle, you're really selecting three points, which are your parameter of that circle, which is all edges of that circle. So let's go ahead and click on circle first. I'll learn how to create a circle. So the same two options over here will be, uh, will be viewed for you right down here. So if I click on the origin right now and expand my circle, you're going to have the options to select the radius. So you're going to see an R, which is a radius on the right side of the mouse. And it's going to say 2.97. That's okay. Let's left click again. And it's going to come over here the, under parameters on the left side. It will, you'll have the options to select that and change it. So let's go ahead and change it to 3.0. And that will uh, allow you to change that circle to 3.0. So right now you just draw, you just drew a circle that is 3 inches in radius. Remember a radius is half a diameter. So you really drew a 6 inch diameter circle okay so let's go ahead and learn how to use the parameter circle so click on that and then click on uh let's go ahead and zoom out over here or just go ahead and click on on the side right here it's going to be one edge of your circle second edge of your circle and then third edge of your circle so right now we just created a circle using three points on the parameter of that circle and let's go ahead and change this radius over here to two so i'm going to change this to 2.0 enter and it will expand my circle just a little bit, creating a 2-inch radius circle, which is a 4-inch uh, diameter circle. So there you go. That's all it is. So, so those are two ways to create a circle. Okay, now we're going to learn more advanced stuff of how to join circles together, how to do different things with circles. But for right now, this is how you create circles. Click on OK. And then right here, let's go ahead and learn how to use the tangent arc. So if you click on this uh, down area, you're going to th see uh, th three things. So you're not just learning the tangent arc. Tangent arc is only one of these options. You can do center point, tangent arc, and three point. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the X over here to exit without saving and then click on that. Go back to my front view and then click on sketch because I'm creating something new. But right now I want to draw actually a, a line because I'm going to use that line a little bit later. Okay. So all I did is draw this random line. Right now I'm going to go back over here and let's go ahead and first and click on center point arc. Okay, so center point arc allows you to select the center point of the uh, of a circle of the arc. Basically, the first point of the it will be the first point on the perimeter of that uh, rate of the circle, and the sec the the third point was going to be the end of your arc, how big you want it to show. So, for example, this is my center. I'm going to click on my center point right here. The first po uh, uh, point is going to be however you want really your radius to be. So, say it's about three inches long. This is going to be your uh, radius, and then now you're allowed to snap onto that arc. So uh, you're uh, able to uh, create an arc of a certain length, and this is useful for whenever you don't need a circle, you just want an arc. Okay? Say I want this arc to be this way. Okay, now you still have the options to come down here and change uh, either the angle, that is from this point to this point, okay? Uh, or the radius of this point, which is let's say I want it to be 3 inches. So if you type in 3 inches, you're going to see that the line expands okay uh, for example if I want to if you want to see it a little bit better let's go be change it to one inch and you're gonna see that my uh, arc right here gets a lot smaller towards that origin okay so I'm gonna click on OK over here let's go over here and use the tangent arc so for a tangent arc you at least need a point or another line created that's why I created this line go ahead and click on tangent arc now remember if you click on one of them and you want to change them remember these options appear right on over here under archetypes okay so let's go ahead and select our first point let's go ahead and select this as being this point and now you have the options to draw the second point of that arc which is either this way or over here uh, so basically both points will be at the edges of your circle and then the center point will be right in the middle of that okay so if i select it select this line over here you're actually allowed to keep going and draw another one if you want i'm going to click on escape so there you go. This is how you use your tangent arc in this one. And you can also go back over here and change the radius uh, just like you can in any exercise. So 1.5, for example, hit enter. You're going to see everything expands. 
over here because it's expanding this circle which means th this line needs to expand because we snapped at the center of the line okay so that that was very important that we that we've done that and we'll go over this in more advanced ways a little bit later so click on okay over here and then last but not least come over here under three point arc which is your last option which really means it's gonna you're gonna create first the two sides of your arc and last you can now create your radius from that side let's go ahead and create create them from this point to this point and now you can see you you can snap your radius on however you want so right now if i want to uh, do 180 degrees you can see eight is 180 which is, means the center of that circle is exactly right here at the center of my part okay or i can expand it to be bigger uh, which will expand my uh, part as well so right now if I want this to be exactly three inches which is the exact length of that line and a to be 180 degrees which means the angle 180 degrees which is means 180 degrees from here to here and with my center snapped at the center of that I can just click over here and then left click and there you go my arc is created so remember those arcs are created whenever you don't want a full circle around whenever you want a certain amount of that arc that is not really 90 degrees apart you would more than likely use the center point arc uh, the rest are being used in different methods in different ways as well and we'll learn how to use those in our exercises a little bit later okay so this concludes this session right now you've learned how to uh, use the circle option and the three point arc option uh, along with the other uh, arc options as well so this is the circle option and this is your arc option